Hi everyone, welcome to a live studio session here at the Audio Music Group. We're here with Andy Jenkins. You're going to hear a couple of his tracks coming up and then we're going to have a quick interview with him, so stick around for that. Eating this. Blue chip, blue eye, millionaire Telling you how much he cares Self-belief and lots and lots of money You get your just desserts You know the best medicine always hurts They took the cream right off the top Then they found that they could not stop Eating mess, the taste of success we all know we are truly blessed It's a secret recipe The details aren't available to you and me Keep looking 
Looking for the things you're missing It keeps you alive and kicking In this wild world Somewhere in the grid you'll find your When you imagine your future, this wasn't the picture you saw. And you'll keep searching cause you know there must be more. Keep looking for the things you're missing, you'll find them under the rocks in the river. In this wide world. Somewhere in the grid you'll find your burn Keep looking for the things you're missing It keeps you alive and kicking In this wide world Somewhere in the grid you'll find Hi Andy, how are you? Oh, I'm great, thank you. Yeah, good. Good, good. good. You enjoy playing with us here today? Fabulous, yeah, lovely. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a few questions now, so, so people can get to know a bit more about you. So I'm going to open with, so where are you from? I'm a Brummie, born and bred, yeah. Born in Duddy Road Hospital, lived here all my life, really. Okay. So, yeah. so how would you describe your music then? <laughs> well, apart from fantastic, no, um, I really don't know. It's it's very hard to step away mm -hmm. from your own music, yeah, yeah, uh, and describe it. So it's got a real mixture of influences. I just play kind of what grabs me, really, mm -hmm. and I don't want to pigeonhole it too much. I guess it's acoustic based, the solo stuff. Uh, but it's got a whole range of influences from okay. the Beatles to Beck. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, that kind of leads on to the next question, which is, uh, who are some of your influences then? Well, I, I've mentioned the Beatles. They were my first musical love, so I guess that's quite strongly there. I love Dylan. One of my favourite songwriters is Randy Newman. I think he's fantastic Ooh. and much underrated. Yeah. I recommend anyone delve into his stuff. Love the dark humour. But more up to date, I love Beck, Arcade Fire. Uh, the Eels. Okay. So a real range. I mean, music is music. Mm -hmm. I'd have to admit, I've completely lost track of what's in the charts <laughs> these days, probably right. the last decade. Yeah. But uh, I still listen to music, uh, although when you're making your own music, you find you have less and less time mm. to do that in yes. some ways. But there's a lot of influences there. It's quite broad. So what got you into being a musician then? Yeah. What got you started? Good question. I suppose the first one of my first memories, I guess, is watching what was called a skiffle group okay. when I was probably about three or four at a youth club in Neutrals where my dad helped. Mm -hmm. And every Saturday night they had these skiffle bands on. And that I remember that grabbing me and really interesting me okay. and just being transfixed by these people playing guitars and stuff. I mean, secondly, I think the Beatles, they just were so massive. They, I think in some ways they were the first archetypal pop group. Mm -hmm. And I just loved everything they did, and they really, I was passionate about it. I suppose the other thing, I have to give my sister some credit, she bought a Spanish guitar when I was about 14, played it for a short while, and then shoved it in a corner, and at some point I picked it up and just began to bash out a few oh, chords. That's cool. yeah. And that's more or less what I've been doing ever since. So actually playing something, I literally sat with this guitar and just worked a few things out, and I've carried on doing that ever ever since yeah. really in my own weird way. Where can people find out more about your music? Have you got you know social media or websites? Yes, all the usual suspects. So I've got, um, I'm, I, I'm on Facebook as a singer-songwriter, I've got a page there. I've got a website, Andy Jenkins Music, which apparently is quite hard to find, but <laughs> okay. it is there. I've got some stuff on SoundCloud, or I don't use that quite as much. Those are, say, the normal kind of generic questions. We've now got some more interesting, quick-fire, quirky Ooh. questions for you. I'll literally try and go with the first thing you can think yes. of. So here's the first one. What's the first thing you think or do in the morning? Coffee. 
Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> nice and simple. Yes. Okay, now this is the one that stumps everyone. The favourite album of all time, your most favourite album. I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> no. Basically, it's very hard. Any day of the week it might change. But look, anything by The Beatles would, would be in there. Uh, Arcade Fire, so maybe two or three of their albums. Beck, uh, Sea Change would be a biggie. Okay. Uh, early Eel stuff, uh, any of the those would be right up there. But then I love sort of stack soul music going back in the right. day. You know, so you so can't name one really, no. Uh, no? No, impossible. No, impossible, okay. Which artist, dead or alive, would you have loved to have seen in concert? Well, probably because he's recently demised, um, David Bowie. David I, Bowie. I really wish I'd seen him live. Uh, again, really, enjoy not everything he did was good. He was quite, you know, varied, patchy, mm -hmm. but, but when he was good, he was, boy, was he good. So, yeah, yeah I'd love to have seen him live. Stunning performer. I enjoy blank for fun. Uh, cycling. Cycling. Love it. Love there being out there on the bike. Sense of freedom. Yeah. And final one, tell us one interesting or unusual fact about yourself. <laughs> I hate these sort of questions. <laughs> I suppose, uh, look, this is for a bit of rampant self-promotion, but I do play in a couple of other bands, um, so people may not know um, the sitting room, mm -hmm. and I also play in a band called Space Hoppers. So, yeah, got other things. That, well, yeah. well, the thing with music is it's really great to play different styles and different sorts of styles. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a broad church, so... Yeah. Cool. Thanks a lot, Andy. So it's been great having you. Cheers. And I uh, hope to see it. you again soon. Good. Cheers. Take care. So we hope you enjoyed that interview with Andy Jenkins and we hope you learned a bit more about him. If you want to find out more, I say check down uh, the link below and you can find some links where to find Andy on the internet and find his website and various places like that. So take care, people, and we'll see you again soon.